Well, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Meta Friday to everyone. What's going on? We are back again. A little late, but back. We're late, yeah, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I was about to jump in the shower, and then I realized the time. <laughs> Literally. I was like, yeah, guys, I'm going to go jump in the shower, and you're like, you got two minutes. I'm like, what? Where did the time go? So, either way good times in the in the metaverse this week um looks like wax is getting some legs under it and bitcoin's getting some legs under it had some cool drops like uh hot wheels was today hot wheels yeah it was yesterday and today had a little trouble yesterday yeah yeah they got through it it'll one of the hiccups to credit card transactions but they have their perks. <laughs> so we're so, going to be talking Wombat, right? Yeah. Let's talk about it. So I'm actually um, starting to kick up a little bit of speed and maybe a little bit of dust on the uh, the old um, Clan Karma. I was in dead I last. Yeah, you were slacking really badly. Oh, I'm on it now. <laughs> now you're now you're actually working in a little bit so um, well leading up to the uh the galaxy jumper drop i i just couldn't my, my i just couldn't wrap my brain around everything yeah i like i was missing click timers i was just like uh, yeah i to be honest i pretty much set it at 24 hours like going up to that it was just everything at 24 hours because i would miss more than um more than I would get if I'd like tried to keep up with it. So I'm a five minute guy when I'm here, but like, I just I heard that I, about you. I, I mean, my, <laughs> I, I, I've, <laughs> no, I've got, um, I've done, I think my record is like 180 runs in a day. Um, yeah. um, I went on like a marathon. It was crazy just to see what it would do. Um, and I didn't get a pack or anything, so I got like discouraged and went back to my. Well, I do one hours now um, because it's a lot easier for me to. Oh yeah, way easier. I'm I'm getting more points um, cool. because I'm missing less. Right. If, if that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, with with those fives, you got to hit like, like almost all of them. Yeah, I you know I'll sit down and do a couple, like three or four or five or whatever. And then that's it. I can't like babysit it all day. Um, it's just too much and you get distracted by stuff. I even set secondary timers and, and I, so if I know like, Hey, I can put the next half hour, I'm going to be right here doing things on the computer, uh, without distractions. I'll do a couple fives and then, then I just set it to an hour. If I know I'm going to have like a busy day and I'm going to be all over the place, um and on weekends if i know i'm spending most of the day with my family i just set a 24 hour one so yeah that's the easiest on the, on the weekends it's so so hard for like if you have a family um specifically you know you got to do all your stuff and things with them um, right so it's just on the weekends it's just hard what's up mountain doomy how are you doing man good to see you I, I think uh, I think he had a good pool the other day. What'd you get, Mountain Dewey? You I think you opened a pack, right? I think you yeah, did. our clan um, got those one card packs, and they uh, a lot of people got a lot of good pulls off them. Yeah, yeah. I the, I'm wearing mine, and it is this. Uh, let me zoom in here. I got this um, blouse. It's a mythic, and it gives me eighteen point five percent clan karma boost. So that's how I'm kicking up this dust. <laughs> that that eighteen percent helps a lot. Oh yeah, that's insane. That's a big yeah. That's a big. <laughs> so every every time I see that little, um, I'm actually like more looking for you guys is little notification to pop up requesting help which one mine 
or uh or, or Rico's. Oh yeah, yours. Yeah, it does look like um <laughs> like the Seinfeld. It's actually a Verizon shirt. Or yeah. <sighs> the red check. Or I usually use it as like an undershirt. No, 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 no. The shirt, the wombat shirt. Oh, it does. Oh my god, like a pirate shirt. Yeah. That's hilarious. Big time that looks like the, the Seinfeld shirt, 100%. It says somebody needs help, but I don't see it. There it is. Got you, brother. So we there's like a whole lot of stuff that goes on with Wombat. And I think a lot of people just see the Wombat dungeon. And they don't see the whole shebang to it. Um, oh, yeah. Some... There's a much bigger all-around kind of wombat thing. And they're growing significantly um, bigger. They're getting a lot of deals with, like, big game companies and everything. So I think wombat's going to... Um, I think wombat's going to uh, get pretty, pretty significantly sized in the not-too-distant future. Well, and check this out. There's everyone that has watched a YouTube video or gotten an ad on their phone has heard Raid Shadow Legends. Play Raid Shadow Legends, right? You've heard it. Everyone's heard it. I guarantee it. If you have a game on your phone, you've probably heard that ad. Um, and it's like one that's pushed hard, like almost like the Clash of Clans from like back in the day. You remember, oh, like I remember Clash of Clans. Yeah. Okay, so so that one. There's ads everywhere, right? Um, and Raid Shadow Legends does the same thing, but you that's actually like a mass when you go and look how many game people have downloaded that game, it's intense. Um, and under the uh one play system, it's actually um a game that you get wombat stakeable NFTs from playing it. It's a cell phone Android game or iPhone. Whatever. Yeah, so Wamplay, they their their kind of move was to figure out how to get, um, in a sense, non non blockchain games to somehow link to blockchain, and they do that by by getting those partners and then rewarding you, but you have to click through to that game from Wamplay. Yes, you use their install. Yeah. My problem is, is somehow I got signed out on their website and I can use it on my phone, but I got signed out on the website and now it won't open for me. So let's see if we can go through here. So you can go, there's like tons of apps on their, on their meta, uh, basically MetaMask style extension. I can't really zoom on it. Is, is anyone able to see this? I can see your wallet. But. Right. Yeah. Um, so on the bottom left, it might be a little hard to see everything. Um, but on the bottom left, there's an apps button. You can actually scroll down here. And Splinterlands is a game that you can play that you earn Wombucks with a lot. And that's similar to how the well, dungeon system works, where like after a certain period of time, you can cash the points in for EOS or Bitcoin um instead of wax over there on the dungeon side um but there's so many games on here that you've probably never even heard of uh that you could go ahead and check out basically all all right through the app but i'm looking for one play specifically here we go Let's see if it will log me in if i click it through there there it goes nice. i'm in so I cashed out this week some points, and um, you can see right here, I didn't know I was going to get it today, but so that's cool. Um, I got 0 0.45 um, EOS from my cash out, um, and literally all I was doing was playing the, the games that they have on here. Um, so like Grand Mafia is a cell phone game. You, it's got NFTs you can earn. If you haven't started playing Upland, I highly encourage you start playing. It's free to start. Um, of course, putting just like maybe like $10 in goes a long way to start you out in that game. But um, you do, can go in there and start for free. Um, 
and and really get the ball rolling. I did it completely free to start with, and my ball got really rolling, um, really easy. Um, you just buy properties and and flip them and sell them or trade them and just trade up. It's a trading game. Um, and you can earn um, Upland NFTs in here that are on the EOS side, which are also stakeable on Wombat Dungeons. So you may have seen while playing Wombat that you can stake either EOS or WAX NFTs. And this is how you acquire those um, through Wombat. It's just playing their games. And Upland is a great way to do it. I know a friend of mine, Mountain Doomy, um, signed up through Wamplay with Upland to start with. And I'm curious, he's probably accrued a decent bit of these Wombucks that you can... So I, th I think what he's talking about here is the new Wombat token, which is going to be different than Wombat. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a Matic token. Yeah, that's going to be yeah, a token. They're having a token sale for it, I think. And, um, you know, I really would like to hear more about that because I, I know it's coming and I know they're going to give you, like if you stake a certain amount, you get bonuses and different stuff. But... I don't know what the whole vision for that token is. Okay, so boost in dungeon is um, it, so that you know we're, there's going to be people who buy that speculatively for the yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, why don't we bring that up? We'll we'll take a quick uh, peruse through that. I can't copy and paste that. Let me go to Twitch. I can probably get it from there. Yep. Here we go. I can't copy and paste that. Let me go to Twitch. I can probably get it from there. Polka starter. Okay. We're excited to share that Wombat will soon have an initial decentralized offering hosted on Polka starter. So they're a web three gaming platform. Um, they have a vast ecosystem of double A AA and triple A titles, which they do. You can see it in Wamplay. They have some huge creators in there, which, by the way, Mech Arena in Wamplay is an absolute blast. That is a banger of a game. It's like two minute rounds. You're in this little Mech Warrior thing, and it is a blast. Um, mine disconnected from my Wombat, Wombat somehow, so I don't get points, and I'm still playing it, if that tells you anything. Uh, <laughs> Like, I'm not even getting, like, incentivized to play it. Um, so it's going to be a multi-chain utility token. The Wom It'll be uh, the Wombat app, Wombplay, and the Dungeon Master game. So they might they wonder if they're switching off of EOS and going to Wombat as their token of payout. I don't know. Um, it seems like that would be something to do. Uh, so that they don't have to buy buy the the payout token, but who knows? Well, this is nice though. So like you can do a VIP tier. Um, so they have a staking requirement of a thousand wombat. I don't know what the price like the initial price is, um, but you get a wombucks boost um, from playing the games, which as you can see. I, I rounded up about 50,000 Wombucks during this this run, and that got me just under half of an EOS. Um, so minimal effort. Someone who can play these games for a long time um, can probably really rack up. Um, Wombat Prime Benefits. So I think that is the expanded free transactions that they supply on their wallet. Am I right about that? Um, that, let me see. Wombat Prime. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Like you get more, you get more. Um, uh, stake more power. Yeah. yeah. And the Dungeon Master VIP, but you've got to get all the way up to 15,000. Okay, so you had to get a pack from Dungeon Master. And then what the heck is a season pass? 
So, okay, so if it's anything like any other game, I, I Sasha talked about this one time when he was on screen with us, and he said that they, they were thinking about doing a season pass. And he had compared it, I think, a lot to how um, you have a base, like you will get this many points, you'll get a reward, you get this many points, you'll get a reward. There's um, a, an but, asterisk on it. Is, that, is there an explanation down the sheet a little? There is not. Oh, so that's just an asterisk to mess with us. Yeah. So um, speculatively, what I'm going to say is um, that there's going to be a free tier where you get um, okay, decent, whatever benefits, you know, but then there's going to be this premium tier that you see in a lot of video games where you open up the season pass and you get, instead of getting this item, you get this better item um, mm -hmm. for the same point accrual um the material boost that's nice um because then you can get purchase stuff a lot easier some of those things you can buy in the wombat dungeon shop are stakeable you don't have to use them for their intended like burn purpose they are stakeable for like uranium and stuff hmm. so it's a way to snowball more uranium or whatever you need access to dungeon master vip drop I guess that would be special pricing or maybe uh, pre buys. They had a party. I think they were, they had a party hat drop where you get you a discounted pack for owning a party hat. Um, so I think you can decide which in initiatives within our ecosystem get funding first which blockchains and games we should incorporate. Um, so yeah, I'm, I guess you get a say. I'm interested if, I'm interested how it's gonna work multi-chain, if it's gonna work, like, will I be able to use a, a um, like like a metamask and separately from a cloud wallet and still get all into it because they they let you get into dungeon master with cloud wallet but it's better if you have the other wallet i'm just i'm curious how they're gonna how they're gonna set it all up and and uh, yeah like. i i think i think it might be you know, some of it might be a tactic to market more people into using their their multi-platform wallet because I mean, when you look at it on the actual wallet itself, I mean, it supports WAX, yes. Um, it supports EOS, yes. It supports PBTC. Um, uh, but then they also have Matic and, you know, Ether and BNB, yeah. like Avalanche. People, yeah, I think PBTC is just wrapped. It is. It is, yeah. But you can receive it as a payout from OnePlay. So you can actually stack sats from OnePlay. So that's pretty neat. Um, you like one of the options is either EOS or PBTC. Um, so I choose EOS because it's easier to get onto an exchange and I can just swap it to Bitcoin there. Um, because the transaction fees, but like even when you go to manage tokens, there's just so many other ones as well. That well, yeah, that's probably going to be a whole lot of um, ERCs. Yeah, yeah, most of it is. Um, probably some are game tokens and yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all I'm seeing are just uh, ERC galore here. I wonder if they have like Litecoin. No, uh, no, they got the wrapped Litecoin. Ain't nobody got that Litecoin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like a test to me because I uh, I mine it, so I, I kind of got to know a little bit and. It's, um, it, you know, if it's something that they include that the wrapped one is pretty neat, though, because it can accept smart contracts. So that's pretty cool. Um, but either way, yeah, so it's a multi-chain, full multi-chain wallet. Um, they do have a swap, but I tested a transaction and it runs through Alcor. Maybe you can accumulate Wombat as payout instead of EOS. This might not be terrible, but I think it's still messed up because they haven't put in unlinking yet. Yeah, I I remember talking to Sasha longer ago. Um, 
and he was saying they were going to make wallet updates and you were going to, it is going to be more easy to manage multiple addresses because uh, you can't do that at all now and they would be able to link and unlink addresses more easily. So hopefully that comes to fruition. So it, it does look like on the EOS side, they do have some swap options, but they are, they all look like EOS tokens, um, but they do have box on there. Um, this, the swap is uh, powered by DeFi box for EOS. Ethereum is all one inch, Matic, BNB, AVAX, all of it, one inch. Um, so I'd imagine their, their Wombat token would probably end up on one inch. And the WAX site's powered by Alcor. That's their token swap part. They got, I mean, it's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of wallets, you know? Um, yeah, if they if they do it well, they can. It, it's it's MetaMask with more integration. I think um, that's how I feel. Uh, MetaMask is really um, good for advanced users. I think though. Yeah, I mean it's it's at least technical users rather. Yeah, because you can adjust values and all sorts of stuff. So if you guys don't haven't tried Anchor or, or Wombat, you might have noticed logging into like any any like decentralized application, like any of them, um, Atomic Hub being one of them. You'll notice that you cannot get into it without um, with, a, with a Wombat wallet or so you think um, it, you don't have the choice. It says Cloud Wallet, Anchor or Scatter. Nobody I know uses Scatter, but we have Cloud and Anchor usually as the predominant options. But one thing that's cool that they've built into the Wombat wallet is under the settings, and it's a default setting, is Anchor authentication. So you, with that with that ticked on, you would just click Anchor. And then once it once you click Launch Anchor, it will actually bring up a Wombat signature request. Let me make sure it doesn't show my characters. Okay. So confirm identity. Sign. And then here we go. I'm logged in as my Wax Wax Wombat wallet using the anchor button. Now there's nothing on here that this this wallet is I have my wham hooked up and my EOS wallet hooked up on Wombat. I did both because I don't want to move everything. So that's one thing that I wanted to show as well. So remember that, just log in, anchor, click anchor and it'll launch your Wombat login. If you have Anchor and Wombat, it can get kind of annoying. You can turn that option off if you don't use that Wombat wallet primarily. Um, or you can leave it on and just right click your launch Anchor button and open a new tab and then boom, you're good. So when you're when you're logging in a dungeon and if you want to if you want to try Womplay, it's free. Um, you just it, it's I'll put the link in it. And you've already set your Wombat Dungeon up on your Wham. Let me give you I got one plat one play .io .games. There's something for everybody here. There's time clickers, there's action games, there's strategy. Um there's some really cool ones that have unique NFTs that are made by Sasha's wife, I think it is, um, for the game. It's really cool, um, and they're really well done. Uh, so what you'll do is – well, I'm already connected. So what you'll do is when you log into here, you'll go to your um, – it'll say about – it'll say me or settings in the bottom right. And this is where you'll choose your withdrawal me method if you want EOS or WAX at the end of the season. And 
there's a wax cloud wallet connected you can also simultaneously connect your eos wombat wallet now there's a disclaimer to this because i had an issue getting mine set up it kept saying um uh, something about permissions and you know all this thing so i tried it going from my phone i downloaded the wombat app and i pulled the wallet up on my phone because it, it backups to your google drive and i uh, just quickly had it up on my phone and I went to their apps and I opened Wombat Dungeons through the through the actual Wombat wallet app and it let me connect my EOS wallet and my WAM at the same time um, so that that way now I can continue my progress on my WAM without sacrificing um, and having to start over. So keep that in mind. It's super easy. Um, just do it through the app right from your phone. And it's mega good. Let me um, let me launch up a, a Grubfish real quick. We actually have something really neat for you guys uh, to give away. We have the uh, Wombat Dungeons uh, promo pack. And uh, we have some CMX to give away for our Galaxy Jumper um, uh, lore stories, which... Uh, we are actually in sh shorter supply of our legendary packs now. Um, and uh, the rares and commons have uh, kind of started to come off the shelves as well. Um, so if you haven't picked up a copy, I definitely recommend you do so um, because there are not many left. Let's see. All right. Let's do exclamation point play and your wallet address. We've got um, for first place, we are going to do a season four Wombat Dungeons promo pack. And then second place, we're going to do two CMX too. So you can go pick up a copy of the little stories. These packs are kind of kind of awesome. Um, They have a ridiculously high chance to pull something great. Yeah, I uh, I opened a pack and I only got an epic, and it's like everybody else that I know that opened one got legendaries and mythics, which is okay. <laughs> like, still, I got an epic. That's cool. Yeah, I I got I I, I got a mythic. Out. Yeah, I got I was, a mythic. Lex yeah. got a legend. John John got a mythic uranium extractor. That's probably like the probably a highly sought after one right there. And then um, I was very pleased to get the blouse because I I it was fate though because like think about it like I was falling so far behind in clan karma over everyone else. I needed yeah. that I needed that little pick me up. You needed you needed any help you could get. While you guys are getting set into grubfish i'm going to get the giveaway wallet pulled up i'm able to send these out live time see here I'm gonna cut on my wombat send them off back into the dungeon quest some help All right, we are in the promo wallet and let's see what these percents are. It's it's crazy. Okay, so I thought you, I thought it was crazy high for the mythic, but it still is crazy high. Um 5% on a mythic, 20% legendary, 25% epic. So pretty high odds of getting something really nice. That's the blouse I got. 
Seinfeld blast. I'll never forget that. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Long haulers. Thanks, Sid. <laughs> I will never forget that now. <laughs> you got the Seinfeld um, blouse of clan blouse. I don't know. Yeah, this <laughs> the clan blouse. I need to find what line they're using when they're uh, when he's wearing that. It's been so long since I've seen that show. Wow. All right, we got. Looks like we got. We got some, anybody else here? All right, I'm gonna kick it off. If if not. We had 20 contestants, but only 10 people watching. Hi, Freddie. Hey, oh, Freddie Funko. Freddie, uh, Freddie is, is now a big supporter of Metaphors, it seems. Uh, he, <laughs> he, went, he went pretty deep on, on some packs and, and some um, badges today, and I think that's awesome. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Freddie, for being along for the ride. Yeah, that's... Uh... I, I went I went to go look for the collector's uh edition badge and I was like they're gone. What? <laughs> I know. But it, it's all good. He he uh he went he went um he went ham on those. He got all five, which is uh pretty bonkers. But that's awesome. That is. It will uh play in his favor though, for sure. Ryan, what's up, man? All right, let's see what we got, guys. I did. Luckily, I've got my number one um, collector's edition for uh, Metaphors issue one. Nice. So. I got the number one whitelist badge, so that's uh, yeah. I. I was able to snag that. Nobody, nobody else has gotten um, a CE yet for uh, for Metaphors. But the Metaphors ones were like oh, way, hard. way stinking harder. Yeah, well, we really made it, uh, I don't know, maybe too hard with that one. Also, we had, um, since that one only had two packs and didn't have um, the same setup, it was, it was definitely harder because you've got to work everything up through. There's a lot more blending. Um, and so adding a third pack that we added now is... Uh, makes it all a lot easier um so that first one's definitely definitely hard to get i i had to work at it for like a long time slowly acquiring open packs and buying more packs and opening them and that's what I, I was doing i was i'm i'm crewing cmx and waiting for rappers to hit the market yeah so that's Let's see. who we got a winner Charm City. Nice work. Let's get this Wombat pack out to you. I hope you pull a Mythic, my friend. May the Mythic Mythics be for you. everybody. Yeah, I am. I am. I was going to work my way up to that, um, to the collector's edition on on um galaxy jumper and uh yeah he just he went bonkers and got them all so hey more power literally yeah, so if you want one everybody else you got to go try and grind out the the metaphors issue one um there'll be more for issue two but you know there's only one mint number one of issue number one of of and all that so oh yes cmc he got the uh, mythic galaxy uh one the 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 mythic jumper i got a he got wait the one he got a mint one for the legendary or the was yours the mythic or the legendary i think he got the legendary there is no mythic comic book no the um badge oh the badge mythic okay got it got it Let's see. Oh, I'm in the promo. Yeah, I think uh, the number ones got um, pretty spread out. I think different people went went to get different ones. 
I got I got one. I did get one. I can't remember which one though. I'm about to go look. I don't know which one I got. Or if I even got a number one. I have to look. I mean I do for, for metaphors, but I don't know about Galaxy Jumper. Let's see. Metaphors. Uh, Y'all don't judge me. I, I'm I have a lot of duplicates. Yeah, so I've got two mint number one collector badges for Metaforce. Uh, and I've got two mint number one collector badges for Galaxy Jumper. So I've oh. got the Epic and the Uncommon mint ones. I have two rare packs. I have, I have Mythic Mint number two. And then I have a bunch of three, four, five for my Metaphors issue ones. I didn't realize I had two pack wrappers from uh, two rare pack wrappers from um, issue one. Yeah. I like the I, I like the the tear card packs in the issue one. Yeah, the tear cards are fun. So okay, so I, I got the the mint one rare. Oh, nice. Let me see. Mint three legendary. Galaxy jumper. I've got a mint three legendary C. So C is the most rare. I wonder what um. I wonder what Freddy um, picked up as far as A, Bs, and Cs, which was his lowest of each. I'm sure he has enough that he has the full collection now. Yeah, he does have the full collection from the screenshots I saw. Um, yeah. There's, I got the final mint of this one, uh, the the um, variant A. Oh, okay. I got 27 of A. I think though, you know what? I think my favorite cover is the rare B. I just something about that hand in the blue. Yeah, I like it too. That I like is, that one a ton. That I like wow. that one in the legendary too. I like it in the legendary, but for some reason, just that the rare B is the one that really, really stinking does it for me. Um, I, I like the gap between the wrist and the in the arm. Yeah, and the legendary A is just like crazy psychedelic i like that one too um so i got i got super freaking lucky i opened three legendary packs and i got the three variants um and then i gotta oh i gotta see in my other wallet i think i've got all nine i've moved seven of them down to my cold storage but I've got to I've got to go check my other my other ones, um, and then obviously uh, metaphors issue one. I've got um, I've got everything. I've got all nine of those. So I need to go back and finish my next set. But my lowest mint number on any of the metaphors is, is number two. I've got two. I've got rare a number two. And I've got, let me see, rare B number two. No, rare C two. And rare legendary two. I did good on those. Yeah, I've got a lot though. I did a lot. I got a lot of the Metaforce ones. So I got I got a lot of little mint numbers. I have none. My lowest is a, my my lowest lowest non badge or whitelist is um a uh, common tear pack T Davis number nine. There's still two hundred three legendary or B need to trade for A and C. You'll get that A trade, no problem. Trying to get somebody to trade you for the C. Oof. So you need A for a, you have a B. And you need an A? I, I might be able to make that work. I can make that work. 
Mine's mint 50. I mean, it's the last mint. Like, literally. I don't know if that... Is that... So, like, to a collector. Like, to me, I find value in the last mint. In the first mint. So, but what do, what do, what do, what do other people think about the final mint? The last one. You know, what do you, what do you guys think about that? Like, if you're, pull, if you're pulling Funko or Hot Wheels or something, mint one... Uh, the mint numbers matter a lot on the collectibles. So, yeah, for sure. Um, I like last mint, but I'm, I don't get as excited about it. My personal mint favorite, um, I love mint ones, obviously, but uh, number five, I don't know why exactly, but I love number five. So. Somehow 77 finds me. It just, that's what I pull a lot. But that's a. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I guess it's probably a split crowd on last mints. It's either the most worthless or pretty. 77's your number? Yeah, nice. Somebody else said seven. Uh, TD's number is 77 as well. He likes 70. You guys are going to fight for those. I think San Yika is a, he's a number eight guy. Yeah, he's eight. Yeah, Sandy's, yeah, Sandy's a number eight guy. Yeah, TD is is a seventy seven guy because Sandy said I I love mint eighty eight and and TD was like I'll go for the seventy sevens. <laughs> yeah, I need to do some. I need to um, blend these rare packs. I think I stopped because I needed one more rare pack, which required me to keep mining for some more CMX. I think that's what I was waiting on. I have to go back and look at the blends. Which, by the way, if anybody joining us, um, I, I see a lot of familiar faces. But, um, of course, you know, um, you can mine um, all sorts of venues from us. Their Brigade, uh, Meat Force Bar and Grill, and get tickets for CMX and buy our products that way as well. Um, it's a little bit more of a grind, but, it uh, you know, it's a neat little arcade style system where you get your tickets at the end of the, at the, end of the year time in the arcade and go cash them in for something. Uh, which we're expanding that, right? Yeah. So the arcade, um, so we just added, uh, long haulers, um, but we still have to do all the scripts and everything. So we've got, you know, it's in the arcade, but we don't have the, the ticket sending yet. Um, that one, you can see who's working your, working your, uh, um, we can, yeah, and we may backtrack that a little um, and do do it kind of like a uh, rap, like a raffle or or something, because we usually do, you know, X amount per hour. Um, I feel like that one, once we get it set up, you're gonna have really good chances because they're such long runs. There's not gonna be a lot ending on any you know given hour so oh yeah that's like trains of the century it's like trains yeah trains you usually have a pretty good chance because it's like with taco it's when you click it right and each run is an hour um but with with the other ones you know the runs are a little longer you get you get a good you know good chance so yep long haulers is the new one we have um a total of five total uh, state or uh, businesses that they, that's what they're called yep. there, but they're trucking yeah. companies each of the each of the champions has their own um, trucking company comp company you can sort them by easiest by going through uh, by, by the wallet and it's haulers.mf if you that's sort through there you'll find all five of them pick your favorite and go for it there might even be different rewards for each one yeah we've got I mean we're gonna figure that out I guess right now it's kind of interesting we had um sit on and and the way that they do the rewards it like it depends what company you have picked when your truck comes in not when it leaves um and i gotta see if you can see that on chain which company it was or just which wallet it is but what you know based on what information comes in and what we can pull off the chain and everything um there's definitely ways we can do do um do certain things i'd like to also eventually get it 
kind of maybe rotating like each week, um, you know, we, we might increase the rate on one of our given games. And so, you know, double, double tickets for this week or something like that. So. That, that would be, yeah, that, I think that would be pretty cool. Like, um, you know, have a taco week or like if tacos having like a, you know, help, help promote them to, you know, if they're, if they're having some like a drop go down or something, do double mining on taco or something, you know, that type of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's see. Let's friendly, see. friendly help. That's how we all make it in this space is all together. All together now. Yeah. It's, I mean, definitely the space is, um, you know, as it's growing, there's, there's going to be these, these pockets of, I don't, I don't know how to, how to describe it. Like not clicks, but people will get into groups of things because it, you know, early on you would just be into everything because you're, you're, there wasn't like a ton of stuff on wax two years ago. So it was easy to just be into everything, but now there's so much that you kind of get these, each project has its own community or micro community. And then you get like a bigger macro community that like a lot of people are kind of into the same stuff. Um, so like, you know, we're, we're definitely in, in more of the collectibles and building a full kind of collectibles platform that, you know, you see slowly growing and growing and we're slowly building stuff out. And then, um, really I, I, have a vision of like one of the most um, complete collection, like collect collection platforms, collectible platforms where, where you have, yeah, the drops and there's a lot of excitement around the drops, but there's also day to day stuff that, that engages people. And I don't know, that's what I want to see. Um, but it's a matter of time. Yeah, we're getting there. Just takes takes time to build. We don't have, um, you know, an a ton, ton of money. <laughs> um, so we just we we just keep working at it, and and thankfully, well, at least I think our art is really good. Like stands up on its own. So even the um, the comics are really good. It's really high level of art. So at least I think so. I like it. I would uh Polar, yeah. no sound. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, that's that's uh it, everyone else seems to have sound, I do believe. All right, we got we got a lineup here on this uh on this grub fish. Launch it, let's see who's gonna win. I got to get better whenever I do these things uh, at doing like the little spinny thing and the turns and all that stuff. I find it to be pretty effective sometimes. Yeah, there's some people that are really good at that. I just I just let it ride. I put my hands in the the oh, man, I just looked at my guy that I always look at. Sorry, dude. There it is, right there. Nah. I, look at him. I don't even say his name, and he's literally the next dude that dies. <laughs> I, I literally, I try and like not even look at the names on the screen when it's going, uh, because I know Mountain Doomy has the recurrier curse. Every time I even see him on the screen, I don't even have to say it out loud. To, like the next one. It, I mean, it, it, it's spread to me, too. On, on Monday nights, I can't eat every time. I, I have to, like, not even look at them. That's what I was – I was trying to not do it. I, you know, I look over our our the way the, the streamer thing's set up. You have something on the right, and the screen's a little bit smaller. So I was trying to look away, and I just saw he poked out. And I was like, oh, no, I saw him. And then <laughs> oh, bam. And we got Stealth and Buzz King. So 
So a little recap on, on Wombat, guys. So there's so much more for you to explore in that ecosystem than just the Wombat Dungeons. I, I definitely, definitely recommend to check out Wombplay.io uh, um, and get your EOS side going because it's there, there's a lot of opportunity there in mining power or, or if not, just earn EOS. Uh, the market's in a dip. Go, go get some EOS. Then you can, I mean, do, do you not want EOS? You can send it to Coinbase. Swap it to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Who cares? EOS, EOS is is on like every exchange. So. Yeah, and it's and it's the transaction fees out of your EOS wallet to Coinbase are zero. So, yeah. like, it just makes sense. So, if you want to go for it, um, one play. You got nothing to lose. Try and one play, um, except maybe time on playing some games that you might not enjoy. Um, there, but there are games that you might really, really, really enjoy. Yeah. Um, like yeah, I said, I feel you not do me. I had a my <laughs> when I set up my um, what do you call it? My Wax wallet, uh, and then I set up my EOS wallet at a different time, and I just just wasn't paying close enough attention, and I was signed in with different emails. So my wax wallet and my EOS wallet that I got with the same exact name so that I could have them both on the same login, um, they're on two different email accounts. So I, I opened a ticket and I talked to them and they were like, yeah, it's just not something we can do right now, maybe in the future. So, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to that so I can actually consolidate stuff because uh, right now I'm stuck with uh, my cloud wallet which is linked to Dungeon Master, actually. And then I have a, a Wombat wallet that I want to use for it, but they need to be able to do the unlinking so all the levels and stuff can move over. And then on a third different thing, I have my EOS one. So once I can consolidate all that, I'll be happy. So, But if you are coming in fresh, um, you, you can link your Wax Cloud wallet here, then go in through the Wombat app on your phone or in maybe in the extension, you can try it in the extension, but go through your phone and um, go to settings in the Wombat Dungeons website um, through the Wombat app. And you can link your EOS can, uh, wallet there and then whatever NFTs you acquire, um, you can stake them on in there. So for example, if you just wanna see a couple, like I've gotten a couple of Wombatiums here uh, this one's got a mining power 80. Uh, this one's got 40. Um, Chess Universe, um, that was a really fun game for me. They had they have speed play where you can play like literally like 30 second one minute rounds of chess where you just like it's just rapid fire. Uh, so you have to make really fast decisions. And um, those are pretty, pretty simple to get if you like chess. Um, and then Tasty Talent is like a little food game. I played it for a little bit. It was I didn't enjoy it too much. Um, this one is kind of lewd, but it was NFTs, so I was like a bug towards the light. Um, now, Hero Zero is a cool one. I have a clan in Hero Zero. Um, if you want to join it, let me know. I'll, I'll let you in, but it's just random people in there. I don't know who they are. Um, and you get free NFTs for playing it. And they are, um, they have like attributes and stuff that you can re-roll. So I think there's going to be some further utility coming down the road for them. You can like re-roll their strength and speed or agility or whatever the attributes that they have. And so with the Wombations, mm -hmm. and I think that there's something more to that. So I'm going to hang on to them. I'm not going to sell them. But Mecarina, go for it. Go like that is like I think the king of the games on here. There's some newer ones. Um, show you a picture of it. Oh man, it's four. We got to raid, uh, raid our boy Lefty. Yes, indeed. I just saw that. So last grub. Um, all the participants in the last Scrubfish will get um, stream tickets. I'll go ahead and send those out. Um, this is Mech Arena. I recommend playing it. It's actually it's just extremely fun. You get the Wombatiums for playing, 
and they're super easy um, requirements to to fulfill that. And then Splinterlands, if you're into that, you can get uh, mom bucks for playing that. So don't sleep on it. It's a whole nother side of this uh, ball game that no one's playing yet. So hop on in. Um, let me go get my Twitch up for Left House. Right, let's see. Oh, I think I heard somebody said something about Macarena. Oh, Mac, yeah, Danielle, just uh, um, uh, Wombasham NFTs. Um, those are like the, I guess, can like they're they're blend fuel, I guess you could say. Um, but they also stake in Wombat Dungeon pretty well. All right, raids coming up right now. Let's see. All right, guys, NFT action news is coming on. Got Left House. We'll be cranking that up in 10, 9, 8. It's counting down now. So you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions about Wombat, Wand play anything at all. I've explored the entire ecosystem. I can answer anything you want. Join us at Metaphors Discord, and uh, we can chat. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. All right, there we go. We are rated. Let me close the other the other streams. I gotta find it.